guys um, stepping up and fulfilling the role that we need them to do. So um, it's looking real good out there, everybody making plays and everything. So I like the way it's shaping up. We, we still got some work to do and everything, obviously. Um, still got a couple more weeks of camp and everything. So just trying to find two things and get ready for Bowling Green. Is this the most balanced camp you've seen in terms of offense, winning one day, defense coming back, that sort of thing? Um, I would say so. Um, it's been it's been kind of like rocky on, on each side of the ball. Um, so in, the, in that aspect, we got to still clean up each side of uh, the ball and, you know what I'm saying, just take care of what we can do. But um, at the end of the day, we've both been working hard and we're trying to push each other, just make it each other as better as we can so we can get ready for Bowling Green. So This far into camp, what are some things you think you guys still need to accomplish before game week? Um, just our, our focus in the game, um, knowing situations, down and distances, stuff like that, um, jumping off sides, stuff like that, taking care of these penalties and stuff. So um, Coach been harping on that, making sure we take care of all these penalties, and I feel like that's a big thing we need to focus on. With so many returning guys on the front seven plus Levitt coming back, do you sense you're further along than last year? Definitely. Um, yeah. Even in the playbook and stuff like that, people are not having to worry about, you know what I'm saying, trying to figure out what, what leverage and stuff, because we, we've already done it. So yeah. um, it's really just brushing up on technique, going going over everything again, and uh, trying to put some new stuff in here and there, um, listening to Coach Doe and trying to soak up everything he teaches us. So trying to be a better player. Are you moving around at all this this fall? I think I've seen you out outside mm -hmm. linebacker a little bit. What's kind of going on with that? Uh, they've just been bouncing me around every once in a while, um, outside, inside. Um, it didn't really matter. I've been playing nose tackle or nose tackle a couple oh, yeah? plays and, and nickel and stuff. So um, it doesn't really matter. They're just trying to put me in positions and make plays and stuff. And I mean, they're doing it with a couple other players as well. So I'm just trying to put people in the right positions and make some good plays. Is that going to be an example of maybe we'll see some different looks this fall from from you guys in the defense? Who knows? Who knows? We got some stuff. We got some stuff coming though. It's, what's, your, what's your comfort level at outside linebacker? Is that a spot um, you feel good about? Yeah, I'm comfortable with it. Um, either way, I, I mean, I've been pretty much the same thing in high school so um, like bouncing between the inside like four technique and stuff and then going outside standing up so um, it's kind of comfortable for me I'm kind of used to it so uh, once I figure out all the defenses and stuff for the outside coverages and I get all the drops right everything I'll be fine. Yeah, what's the hardest part for you from a um, just linebacker like, perspective? I'll just remembering all my drops and stuff just because um, I, I haven't really paid attention to their drops and everything like that yeah. this is my first time kind of learning everything so um, whether it's like seam flat curl flat stuff like that just making sure I know which, which uh, person I have whether it's two or three and stuff like that. Did, so. did the coaches suggest moving you around did you suggest that it was a little bit of both oh uh, coach Dennison coach Joe came up to me was like hey we're just gonna throw you over here for this week and see what happens um, but you'll I mean obviously I'll go back to D line room and everything so um, just bouncing around in between rooms just trying to you know what I'm saying learn more of the defense honestly and it's helping me a lot because now I know what's going on in the back end and stuff so it's helping me figure out where I get to fit better I'm jumping ahead too far here but does that feel like maybe a more natural position at the next level um I mean I'm comfortable with both either one's fine with me I honestly would not care um, I try to make plays wherever I'm at I don't care if I play middle back or it doesn't matter so you chose to come back and you're preparing for this year. Did you have any feedback from teams or anything or any NFL personnel that you were like, okay, if I work on that, it'll help me long term? Um, a lot of a lot of stuff just said like I need to work on my hands and feet and stuff like that and just get bigger, obviously. Um, just yeah, the basics get bigger, stronger, stuff like that. So um, that's basically what I've been trying to emphasis on and um, work with Coach Fell, work with Coach Doe, and just basically fine tune my game and become a better player. I was looking back to an interview we did when you were in high school, and a couple of things that stood out to me. One of them was like, you said even back then, it's like, it's always been a dream of mine to be in the NFL. Has that changed, I mean, from no. five years ago? No, not at all. Um, it's always been a big passion of mine, to football and everything, and um, honestly, pursuing an NFL career is a big dream of mine. Um, trying to be the first person in my family to do it, so I'm um, trying to be a, a leader in my family and trying to set that step in zone. Obviously, you've made tons of strides in the years you've been here. Do you think that there's anything you need to do to take yourself to that next level? Is there something like, you know, if I focus on these things, I'm going to make this thing? Um, there's a whole lot. Um, I mean, nobody's game is perfect at all. Um, I mean, whether it's my hands, my feet, because I mean, everybody has a bad play every once in a while. So um, little stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, not, not letting a single play, just trying to affect my, my next play. So I'm trying to take a play at a time, work my hands, feet, get stronger and everything, know my leverage and stuff, set edges, and throw off well. So. I always think of you from Arizona, but actually you're from Ohio. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, and now you've lived in Oregon, Ohio, Arizona. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite place? Um, I'd probably say Ohio just because all my family's there. Yeah. But um, Arizona, I love Arizona just because the heat. I can go out and do anything all year round, swimming and everything. But um, there's no place like Oregon. I've spent most of my, well, I guess my whole college career here. So um, at the end of the day, this is pretty much my home now. So uh, I miss Oregon once I leave for sure. All right, cool. Jalen Jones, thank you so much. Oh,